Hey there, Internet. So here I am at day two of the Slam Dance Sundance Film Festival, taking the bus over there. Massive traffic. We gotta take this bus and then another shuttle to get Park City, Main Street. So I'm at the Intel Tech Lodge, grab a quick coffee before seeing some talks. You can see here tons of VR stuff. We even got some drones. You can see they're playing some Ready Player One. Yeah, I know. Which one is? I can't remember. So he, here we are. Here we are at the Filmmaker Lodge, yes. and we're about to see Will I Am and Kevin Smith do a little Q&A. Who are you more excited to see? Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Will I Am? <laughs> You're the moderator. You're moderator? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> equally excited to see them both. But probably yeah. Will I Am more because he has a VR piece that say. he just did with Black Eyed Peas and stuff, so I'm interested to see that. And that's it. We're all we're all very giggly. And now we're famous. Um, I'm curious to know, Kevin, uh, would you ever make a VR 360 film? And Will, having made one already, would you go back in and double dip? Yeah, maybe make one again. So we're already working on part two for Masters of the Sun. It's on the Chronicles, so the book will be ready for Comic Con San Diego. Um, I, uh, I've, I've went, uh, as I've mentioned previously, to, to my agency's office to try out the experience because they wanted me to go out and start talking to people. They're like, hey man, there's a whole new place, go out there and speak to folks. So I went to speak to a couple folks, I'm probably not supposed to say this now, but I mean, it could probably fall apart in any fucking minute, but uh, the people at STX uh, were interested in, in this idea. I went and sat with them and shit, they were telling me about what you could do. It's, it's tough to get your head as a traditional filmmaker around the medium because I'm like, well, what is the three acts? When does it begin and end? And blah, blah, blah. So uh, we're right now in the middle of putting together this deal for 30 minutes of content, which is about uh, six different shorts or something like that. And uh, the idea I came up with was uh, get ready for it, Jay and Silent Bob. And so uh, this, in this version, like I was trying to, the one thing that I dig about, uh, or one thing that is weird about VR is that you can't interact really with people. You're kind of a spectator in most situations of the viewed entertainment experience. So I said, what if we took me out of it and you are Silent Bob, because he don't talk anyway. So then you'd be a, a kind of, it makes sense in the game. And so Jay will be the one that's constantly talking to you and then the experience begins. So it's going to take my head a, a while to get around how to tell that story because it's not like there's no beginning, middle, end. It's just this kind of, it's an experience that just kind of happens. But I might take some advice from this cat because he's already done the same thing, breaking it up, breaking up Masters of the Sun. Maybe the idea is to make one thing and then kind of compartmentalize it. Thank you so much. I'm excited for Jane Silent Bob. You're on VR. This is so cool. Look at all the different home lattes you see there. It's moving just like a printer at your house. So what it is is it's a coffee extract ink. That's the the, the new technology or the the, the, the pad. You see? I get a. It's going over my mouth. Finally made it to the new frontier section. You can see here people in the eggs rotating around, seeing VR. Very cool stuff. This looks super comfy. I actually never tried it. It kind of reminds me of that thing in 2001 Space Odyssey, like the furniture they have there. <laughs> didn't work, didn't work. So I'm in Felix and Paul's new moon VR experience with rockets. It's pretty cool. Not really a huge fan of the moving eggs, but they're pretty interesting. I like the vibrating seat, but honestly, I want to just be able to control what I can see around. I don't want to be controlled by the chair. That's at least my takeaway on Space Explorers so far. So I'm here with... Jennifer Rundell, I'm co-founder of Positron. We're the creators of Voyager VR Chair. I like to call it the egg. It's the thing you behind it. You can call them. it the egg. Is it offensive if I call it the egg? We're not offended. I mean, okay. it looks like an egg. So I want to know, when are these going to be in malls or airports? We have a couple of these that are already permanently deployed um, in, and are open to general public. Um, our big mission in 2018, really over the last year, we've been doing more pop-up type of um, scenarios. Um, like we'll have a theater at um, Ace Hotel in February in Los Angeles, for example. 
think I saw you guys at AT&T Park a while back. We were at AT&T Park. We actually were in Brookstone stores, um, interestingly, um, over the holidays. So we are doing what a lot of people are doing in VR right now, which is lots of piloting and trying to understand actually what consumers want. Because I, we've all been kind of in our caves um, trying to invent things and push the bounds of technology, which has been the right thing to do. But we're super focused on really attaching our, our, our product and some VR to the consumer market and understanding what that kind of monetization could look like with a consumer. So find us at gopositron.com. Um, we're also on Instagram and Twitter at gopositron. Nice. Um, Thank you so much. words do you want? I guess insecure. Cool, we got one. Bill, Kent, Karen, Bucky, from our research today, I have learned much. Now I want to begin our questioning with the question you all found the most intriguing. Why do humans want other humans to like them? So it's snowing at Sundance. You can look down the street, all the snow. I'm at Intel's party right now, getting some drinks, having some appetizers and hors d'oeuvres. You can see all the beautiful snow. You can see people getting romantic over there. It's beautiful out. So this guy's shooting some red footage over here. It's beautiful. But everyone's afraid it's supposed to snow about five inches. And we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The snow is coming down. It's snowing! It's snowing like crazy. Tomorrow is the women's rally, so we got to wake up early for that. But and it's still you. supposed to be snowing. It's so so still supposed to be snowing. Should be fun. Thank Too you guys easy. so much for watching. Please subscribe and check out the next video. And pray that we get home safe. Yeah, and it should be fun.